Introducing the sphere. get the idea it can uh, bounce off most everything and not break or hurt you not bad all right how we built this we took a uh, beach ball just a standard regulation beach ball from uh, Walmart or Target blew it up really 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 tight I bought some two-faced tape, the kind you get like uh, the real thin, it's almost like scotch tape, but it's, it's two-faced tape. And what you want to do is you want to wrap it around the circumference of the ball um, with carbon fiber toe, with um, carbon fiber epoxy. And um, some of the mistakes I made were I ran my tape all the way, I overlapped the tape and had really bad joints, so I had to go back and reinforce the joints again. Um, and I also did not, my epoxy was not thin enough to really get down inside the uh, bands very good. And so I've had a lot of brittle breaks. I've had to do some repairs on a lot of breaks. This thing used to be a whole lot lighter before I smacked it, rolled it off the roof, and uh, hit stuff really hard, including myself. Um, but then as far as the tricopter part, is you use basically, um, these are the RC timer. 20, uh, man, getting old sucks. I can't hardly see. I believe it's 2204s or 2404s. I think it's 2204s, uh, 14, 1500 kV motors, 64 props. Um, uh, generally, it's just a little miniature tricopter board. I got a little pivot and all of them so I can absorb shock. And I use a piece of carbon fiber rod, 4 millimeter, coming off the end here, and then through a hole in into a, a wheel collar to to make my rear pivot a uh, thousand milliamp pack from hobby king or hobby parts um, standard little nine gram servo in the back a uh, metal gear preferably and uh, everything else is pretty much the same um, i'll go into more detail i unfortunately i had build shots of this but i deleted them by accident off my phone like an idiot and uh so i'm kind of stuck with no build shots but you know if you've seen a beach ball you've seen how it has the sections on it you basically follow those sections and run a center line you try to get your props in the center so the center line is a little bit below you know where the actual real center of the actual ball was and then uh it's just little um three eighths inch ply uh wood arms and one eighth inch plywood middle and it's really not that hard it just it needs to be 
a little more powerful or I need to have a little lighter lighter frame. You'll see another some video in this footage, some footage in this video that shows a smaller lighter weight one flying also that a friend of mine built with me along on the lines with me. So it's a uh, it's pretty cool. It's it's not you know the greatest thing in the world, but it's it's definitely uh, something that grabs people's attention. So there you go. of the Empire Base. <laughs> the Rebel Base. Oh! oh. Bye. <laughs> the question is, could you fly it under and, and just by listening to the sound bring it back? Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> Landing! <laughs> oh, that's great. Hey, wait. Throttle it up on auto stable and let him pop it out. <coughs> All right. Going back up. You might have to get a nudge or a uh, no, comp. Which way is it? Okay, now don't nudge it. Don't nudge it. Don't nudge it. Which way? Uh, towards you. Towards the beach. <laughs> yeah, that's going to help. Way. Up, up, up. Going down, up. Okay, okay. Back, back. There you go, back. Oh, 
left, 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 oh, rudder left, okay, back all the way. <laughs> okay, now it became worth Oh, come back, Spear. Not me, it scares me.